Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 137 for Wednesday, February 15th, 2017. AppLock Security. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by BarkBox. BarkBox pop picks the best all natural treats and innovative toys for your dog and ships them right to your door. To receive a free month of BarkBox with your six or 12 month subscription and free shipping, visit getbarkbox.com slash twit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Security is, well, let's face it, it's a hot button topic these days, especially when you consider that the phones in your pocket uh, are essentially an extension of your brains. Uh, There's so much potentially sensitive information on that little black box that we as users should do what we can to protect ourselves. I have two-factor authentication for any service I use regularly that actually supports it. I also have fingerprint and pin security set on my devices by default, and that's a great start. But what about securing individual apps on the device? That's what we're going to cover today. So let's kick it off by taking a look at a few apps that will help keep prying eyes out of individual apps in this week's roundup. So first, let's check out a clean, straightforward app for locking those apps on your device. This one's called AppLock by KeepSafe. Now, once you've granted AppLock administrative permissions, you'll be shown this apps list of all the apps on your device, accompanied by a simple switch next to each app. Apps that are commonly protected by users of the app are shown up top. Things like Settings, Gmail, and Chrome, for example. If I want them to be password protected every time I launch them, I simply slide the switch and it's then added into the locked column, as you can see. Now I'll head to my home screen and attempt to launch YouTube. And as you can see, before anything meaningful is shown inside the YouTube app, AppLock then appears over the top asking for my fingerprint. I can tap the keyboard button up top if I'd rather enter in my pin. I did notice that sometimes it takes a second for AppLock to obscure the app that's underneath, and that could potentially pose a problem if it's sensitive email, let's say. Jumping into settings for AppLock, there are settings for how fast an AppLock resets for a given app, also a switch to prevent uninstalls without the required pin, which is very handy. Find AppLock by KeepSafe in the Play Store for free. So here's an app that has a low number of installs, it's relatively new, but is perfect for those of you material design purists out there. Material Lock is exactly what it claims to be, an app lock app with attention to following the material design spec. That's just for starters. Here's my apps list that has that familiar cartoonish look all around it on top. Uh, Any apps that I wish to protect can be added to the list by simply tapping the lock icon to the side of the app. The lock lights up, and the app is now protected. So to show this off, I'll go ahead and jump into the now protected Play Store app. And as you see, Material Lock jumps to work almost immediately with little to no lag that might reveal the app contents before the lock kicks into place. But let's head back into the Material Lock app, and you'll see there are a number of tweaks in the side slide out tray. First, Smart Networks. This allows me to select a safe Wi-Fi access point so that when I'm connected to that, those pin entries are not required. Also, Trusted Devices. This does pretty much the same thing when connected to another device, like, let's say, my LG Watch Sport. There's also Remote Lock. This allows me to SMS text message into my phone from a different phone with a specific string. That's going to effectively give me the ability to lock the device remotely. Notifications will show when a pin has been entered incorrectly. It basically allows me to know if someone has tried to access my protected apps, and it keeps a running log of that. Material Lock has support for fingerprint unlock in the settings and attempt limits that will slow down password attempts with consecutively wrong guesses. Find Material Lock in the Play Store for free. 
All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that is BarkBox. BarkBox delivers four to six natural treats and fun toys for your dog curated around a surprise theme each and every month, always keeping things fresh and interesting. BarkBox Paw picks the best all-natural treats and innovative toys to match your dog's unique needs, including allergies and heavy chewer preferences. All edibles are, of course, made in the USA or Canada, and 100% of their products are tested on animals. Their own. They're animal fans, of course. BarkBox is a great way to try a variety of treats and toys from local and small businesses that you may not otherwise be able to find. Some of this stuff is very boutique. BarkBox also makes their own products through their Bark & Co. brand. They've shipped over 16 million toys and treats so far. And getting started is super easy. You just Choose your dog size, small and cute, which is up to 20 pounds, uh, maybe just right, which is 20 to 50 pounds, or big and bold, that's 50 pounds or more. And then you can choose a plan. One, six, or 12-month plans are available to you. And then you get your Bark Box, of course, and Bark Boxes are shipped on the 15th of every month. Bark Box will keep your dog engaged, interested, and most importantly, happy. If your dog doesn't like something in the Bark Box, They'll send you something else for free, Scout's Honor. When your dog falls in love with something from the box, you can actually easily find it again on BarkShop.com for yourself or the BarkBox app. And you can cancel anytime. Shipping's free in the continental U.S. So give your dog the joy of a million belly scratches. Get one month free and free shipping with our six or 12 month subscription by visiting GetBarkBox.com slash twit. That's GetBarkBox.com dot com slash twit and we thank barkbox for their support all right up next a name many know and trust is also in on the app lock game let's check it out all right you may have heard of the creator of this next app i'm sure called norton app lock norton has a name in the world of security of course and this app lock app has some nice extra security features to keep you protected here is the main apps list screen Here's where you find the app to protect, and then of course you tap the lock icon that's next to it, it turns green, and it's now protected. So let's launch the now protected camera app, and rather quickly you can see the Norton password screen appears over the top of it. You can then enter your password, or even a pattern, or you can tap your fingerprint to access. But, before we do that, let's go up top here and tap the overflow menu. Uh, to see some additional conditions, including a function to actually unlock all apps in this particular session, which could save you time if you happen to be accessing a number of protected apps at one time. Now in the settings are ways to change between pattern and pin, whatever your preference is. But this feature here is really cool. It's called Sneak Peek. And with this active, any three consecutively incorrect password attempts will result in a front-facing photo firing off and placed then in your photos folder on the device. That way you can see who it was that tried to get to your stuff after the fact. Now, this is Norton, so you might get a notification to install their antivirus app. I only got it once, but that could be a deal breaker for some of you, and if so, totally understand. But for the rest, you can find Norton App Lock in the Play Store for free. And here's an app that offers a ton of functionality for those wanting even more. AppLock Plus is a nicely designed app, I think, as you can see in this main apps list. Again, you tap the lock on the side of the app to secure it. That takes you to another screen, in this case, where you can set exactly how that app is protected. Obviously, as you can see here, there is pin lock security. That's included for free. For $2.21, you can upgrade to the Pro version. With that, You'll also get the schedule lock feature, which allows you to set a particular time of the day to lock up those apps automatically. You'll also gain access to GeoLock, which enables location-based app locking. So, for example, your apps will lock up when you walk into work, let's say. So let's try to launch Chrome now, and sure enough, we're prompted for the pin. Sorry, no fingerprint support here yet. Hopefully they add it at some point. You can also create and assign apps to their own protected groups for adding passwords to a number of related apps with ease, like all of your photography apps, for example. And here's a bonus feature. AppLock Plus has a Pokemon Go mode up at the top that 
when active, locks all of the apps on your device except Pokemon Go. That way you can hand your device to your little one and not worry about that data while they're busy hatching eggs for you walking all over the place. AppLock Plus is free in the Play Store with a pro version upgrade inside the app. All right, so there's four options for the discerning Android user looking to add an additional layer of security to their devices. There are a lot of these in this category. When I was searching through the Play Store, I saw so many. So I kind of whittled it down to these four. I've possibly missed your favorite. So if you want to, I would certainly love to see it. Send me your favorite apps in this category or any category at all. Send it to arena at twit.tv. Uh, you can also post those to the subreddit, androidapparena.reddit.com. The recorded show plays every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following tech news today at twit.tv slash live. And new episodes appear later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.